process is called shaking bees. It just amounts to the gathering of bulk bees out of each hive. We shake the bees down into a an excluder tray and a queen excluder line tray so that we can hold the drones and most importantly the queen from going through. Just go across the brood nest, shake the bees we want, uh, judge the bees that we think are out in the field based on the temperature and the foraging, and leave an appropriate number of bees to keep the brood warm. And then the bees that haven't gone through the tray, we look for the queen, and here she is. That's a beautiful Cordovan Italian queen that Danny bought from us last year. You can see the red on the thorax. That'd be one of our queens out of last year's crop. So we're interested in having her drones. Back in the hive. Go ahead. Make sure she goes down. Last year's queen cage right there. When we know she's down, then we'll put it back on. Now we can pour the balance of the bees in. Shake them down the funnel into the collection box. And repeat the process. This is a uh, mite strip for killing varroa mite. Danny placed that in the hive and just before he starts to put his honey supers on, he'll pull that strip out as, as per label direction. We want to pour the bees back any place that we don't have a drone that we want to fit a drone. All right, we're going to get started over here on the side and pull one comb out. Give us some room. Shaking. There's last fall's honey. I'll bring these two over to the box to take, to take a look at them. Yeah, that's not a good brood pattern to show you. That's a, that's a nice brood pattern, especially for this early in the spring. Here's some drones that are new drones already hatched this year. You can see the good pollen stores right around in. See the good pollen stores. You can see it's the pollen is uh, being sourced off of many different uh, plants right now. Angle it towards your camera. Won't be as good a light. But... So the color of the pollen means 
What does that, does that tell you? Anything? It just means it's all it's off of different plants. You can certainly identify some of your pollen sources based on color. All right, I'm going to shake this frame in the excluder tray. On each hive, we're um, we're looking for taking bulk bees out of the hive, but leaving plenty of bees in the hive that uh, will be able to take care of the brood that they currently have in there. You sure, sure don't want to lose any of your young brood this early in the season. Of course, you have to be aware of the temperature too. Bees have to maintain a brood nest temperature of 93 degrees. This morning it was uh, 40 degrees here. And if you, uh, if you take more bees out of the hive than you should, they may not be able to maintain that constant brood nest temperature. See this hive has a uh, good population of bees in the bottom, so we can take more bees out of the top. Well, you won't see it now because I smoked them down. Well, we've got a beautiful day, and uh, all right, there you go. This is an ideal day to be shaking bees. It's 70 degrees already here at 11 a.m., and the bees have had uh, several weeks of rain and cold weather, and this is about the fourth day of good sun that they've had, so they're desperately trying to gather pollen. They're not too concerned about our presence here and, uh, and how aggressively we're managing their beehive today. They have more important things on their mind than, than our presence here. Well, I got fair weather on my mind Just like the things I left behind When you're shaking, shaking bulk bees or package bees, in the rain in April, it's a whole different story. When we don't find the queen or we don't want the drones, we pour the excess bees back. These bees are going into our uh, queen nukes, and we're interested in the drones where we know that they're our queens from last year.
mark is the uh, 03 mark and that is uh, last year's queen that's a Cordovan Italian that Danny bought from us last year just an average walker queen <laughs> Jim, what we're going to do now is pour up our bulk bees out of our boxes. We've got a bucket that's pre-measured to hold five to six pounds of bees. And Domingo's going to take the holding box and we're going to fill this twice and dump it into this uh, screened box that has a, a feeder full of syrup in it and two combs. And so we'll have 10 to 12 pounds of bees that'll be ready to, to uh, go to the queen yard and stock the queen news. All right, more bees. Walker Queen. 